Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're here in Hollywood Studios and today we have dining reservations at the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater and Restaurant. If you want to find out if it's worth your time and your money to eat here, then you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around, check it out. Hit that subscribe button because we are going to give you our professional opinion. Let's go. Let's go. Like we said, we're here, we're in Hollywood Studios. Uh, we're gonna check out dinner at the good old sci-fi dine-in restaurants. We actually ate at this restaurant a long time ago before we had a YouTube channel, and I remember liking the food. I remember thinking it was pretty cool. So hopefully, uh, similar vibes this time. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so here is the menu. If you guys can see it, it's a bit dark in here. So the vibe in here is super cool. It's like a 1950 drive-in in, like, California, which I am loving. And even the uh, license plates at Disney. That's cool. So we get to watch some like classics on the big old screen here. That's cool. Someone picked the pickle chips. Someone? You like pickle chips. <laughs> I do. I like them. Yeah. They've got two different sauces here. Yeah, one's ranch, one's like horseradish. Oh, horseradish? Mm hmm I think they're a bit overcooked. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm hoping just to maybe it's that first one. Yeah. It's like the batter is too crispy or something. Mm, okay. But the flavor is good. Yeah. It's just too, they're kind of chewy. Mm, okay. It's strange. All right, so we're being those obnoxious people, but I got the citrus chicken salad, a side of fries, and those got the pastrami burger. So we're going to taste everything which you guys know how it tastes. All right, so those all look really good. Yeah. All right, so we'll start with the fries. Mm, they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, but very big, very fluffy. Mm. So. Fluff is a good word for fries. Uh, I think I like a little bit more crispy. Yeah. Mm. There's no tomato on that burger, right? I don't think so. Let's have to see what's on there. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. There's a giant tomato on I'll there. I'll take that one. <laughs> Tomatoes are gross. Mm. All right, so we'll give the pastrami burger here a try. Mm. That is an excellent burger. Yeah. Definitely high quality meat. It tastes like a burger that you would make at home on the grill. Mm, okay. You know, as opposed to like something that you buy from fast food. Yeah. It's a real beef patty. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't taste like one of those frozen ones. Yeah. I think it's fresh. It's very good. Very high, you know, high quality, I think. And the bun itself is, it's a brioche bun. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really big, fluffy, dense. Yeah. The bacon is delicious. So. You here for it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Good. Yeah, so we'll give your salad a try. So what is this salad? It, well, you guys can't see it, it's too dark in here, but it is a grilled chicken mandarin uh, salad with candy pecans, feta cheese, and cra craisins? Cranberries? Yeah, that was really good too. Yeah. Everything seems really fresh. I like the mandarins on it. Mm -hmm. the mandarins taste really good. They taste really fresh again. Mm -hmm. so, I think it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good salad. All, all the flavors really mesh well with the feta cheese. Yeah. I like it. Can confirm the fries are, the fries are very fluffy. Lewis's burger is very juicy and my salad is very fresh. So, pretty mm -hmm. good. Are you standing by your decision to get the salad over the burger? It's here, so I'm dealing with the repercussions of my actions. <laughs> but the burger's really good. All right, so that is Lewis's uh, dessert. It's chocolate cake with vanilla, or sorry, with pineapple and van uh, white chocolate on top of it. I don't know what that one's called. It's like the Out of This World, I think. Out of This World, yeah. It's got like a little, little Martian, little Martian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I have the Red Planet, which is a white chocolate cheesecake with yeah, that looks a warm, too. spiced berry compote. Kind of reminds me of the things we got on. We were on the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. So. Yeah. All right, you want to try yours? All right, we'll give them a shot. All right, turn your light off, though. We don't want to be those people in the restaurant. So they said all this comes on top of a uh, chocolate cake. It is a Myriad. Myriad. Myriad? It is a are Myriad. You, are, are, are Robin and his Myriad. It is a Myriad <laughs> of flavors. Yeah. It is an out-of-this-world concoction. Mm. Uh, I can't even tell what's going on here. But I laid my, my spoon down on some of the juice. <laughs> so it's kind of on my hands. Yeah, it's some sort of like citrus flavored. It's like a little jelly syrup. Yeah, yeah citrus flavored jelly syrup. Yeah, the cake is really dense. It's got a um, pineapple mousse mm -hmm. on it with um, chocolate and sugar sprinkles. It's a ton of flavors going on, but overall it's really good. And forewarn, I'm not a big cheesecake fan. I don't particularly like cheesecake. Some, oh, did you try it already? Oh, okay. Some cheesecakes are better than others, but um, we'll go ahead and give it a little shot anyways. 
It's cheesecake. <laughs> I, I don't personally like it, but I could see if you like cheesecake, you probably would. Yeah, okay, fair. So, we'll let Kristen review that one. <laughs> Guys, hopefully you can see it, but apparently we got a parking violation. <laughs> Been sitting here too long. Yeah, but dinner is what, $78? $78.60 before tip, so that includes our 10% discount. Um, Grant, we didn't order drinks this time, mm -hmm. so we saved ourselves maybe 10 bucks there. Yeah. Thinking about getting a milkshake, so that's why I got water, mm. but it still would have been under 100, so which yeah. is nice. Yeah. Alright, y'all. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, my cheesecake is really good. It is um, not as sweet as most cheesecakes are, but the toppings are kind of nice. Not a sweet thing, but you know what? I did not like yours. Yeah. I, I tried Lewis's and it was it was too, like, I guess I don't like chocolate and citrus. Well, yeah, I mean, it's chocolate, citrus, pineapple, like I said, yeah. there are a lot of different flavors going there. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best thing I've ever eaten, yeah. but it's pretty good. The, the I like cake, it. No, I will say the cake itself is not too sweet, and, that, and that's, it's kind of nice, but yeah, no, my cheesecake is good. I'd, I'd get it again. All right, guys, so now we're at the part of the video where we're going to give you our professional opinion. So this is where we go through and we rank each restaurant based on five different categories. We score those out of 10, so a total score out of 100 for both of us. So those five categories are? Ambiance, variety of menu, plating, taste, and overall value. What did you think of the ambiance? I, you know, I, people love to hate on this restaurant and I don't know why. I think it's amazing, right? It's 1950s California drive-in theater, right? So you walk in, you walk in, whenever you first walk in, you're walking in behind the screen and you go around the corner and then you're, you're, you get to see all the cars, right? So um, between that and then the structure of the cars, I want to give them a 10, but here's why I'm going to give them a 9. The party behind us is literally like in the back seat of the car, right? So there's no two-person tables that we can see. Um, and, it, and if you don't know the people behind you, it can be kind of weird. And you may not be able to get to sit at the front of the car, which could also maybe impact your experience. So uh, with that being said, still stellar. And I think it's awesome. The, the cartoons and like the scary movies was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so definitely solid nine. Yeah, and I completely agree. So uh, yeah. I, I love the old car vibe. Same. You know, you go to a restaurant like this, everybody wants to sit in the cars. You know, the cars are super cool. Mm -hmm. I really get like a Jackrabbit Slim kind of vibe from yeah. Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. I think the only drawbacks, like you mentioned, are it would be nice if you if this cars were more private. If mm -hmm. you know, you could have just a car for two. Yeah. Uh, and also, I don't feel like the seats were that comfortable. Mm. But overall, still really strong. I, I agree with you, nine. Uh, and then in terms of variety of menu, what would you think? Or rate them in terms right. of variety of menu. So I think the menu was rather weak. Uh, basically, yeah. your main options there were burgers or chicken. There weren't a ton. There weren't a ton of options. Mm -hmm. I got to give them a three. Oh, all right. Well, well okay. Uh, I'm going to give them a five, uh, mainly because there was a couple options for the appetizers, and then there were a couple options for the. Uh, for the desserts, but mostly it, there, was, there was like three burger options, um, a, a beef on me, uh, no, what, what's, what's the Vietnamese name? It's called banh mi. Uh, yeah, so there was, there, there was a there was a banh mi option, uh, there was a pasta option, and then there was a salad. So overall, I think there could probably be a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to give them a five. In terms of plating, what would you rank them in terms of plating? plating like how did the food come out on the plate? Yeah, so the plating was pretty good. I, the entrees there, and, you know, my burger came out on like a tray that would go like in the window of a, like a drive-in mm -hmm. kind of restaurant. Mm -hmm. The pickles came out in a nice little funnel thing. Yeah. And the desserts, I think, were really well done. Mm -hmm. So I thought that this, both desserts looked spectacular. Yeah. So you average all that out, I, I think it's still really strong. I think it's a seven. Yeah, I'll give them a seven too. My, my salad was just a salad in a bowl, honestly. But uh, for the most part, everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty on par with the seven. For taste, how would you drink them in terms of taste? Okay, so for taste, the my dessert was good. It wasn't great. Disagree. Right, I didn't yeah, like it. She didn't like it, but I, I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, the pickles, I didn't really care for that much, mm -hmm. but the burger was spectacular. So, good. so I think if you're not getting a burger at this place, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. And I think that burger, you know, kind of, you know, you average it all out again, that burger kind of brings it up. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I think it's a strong showing at a seven. Yeah, your burger was definitely the best thing I think we had all night. Uh, my salad was just okay, you know, leafy greens and and it said grilled chicken. I'm pretty sure that was like baked chicken that they pulled apart. I don't think there was any grill marks on it. Uh, the pickles, you chew them, they kind of got stuck in your teeth, so that was kind of like okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, your burger was amazing. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go with six because my salad was just okay. I liked your salad. Did I liked you? It. I just, I, I didn't I'm think it was a sucker for Mandarin. Yeah, yeah you are. He yeah. does, he, he, he likes the citrus, y'all, let me tell you. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him, give him a, what did I say? I said seven. I said seven, oh. 
Just kidding, I'm moving the six. <laughs> okay. Uh, in terms of overall value, how would you rank them for value? Okay, so overall value, this is one of the cheap, this is the cheapest yeah. restaurant that we've ever eaten at, at Disney. We're talking about getting uh, appetizers, mm. entrees, desserts. Like I said, we didn't get the drinks yeah. this time around because, mm -hmm. you know, plan on getting a milkshake that didn't pan out. But we did get an extra French fry. Mm -hmm. So, I love some fries. you know, kind of averages out there. And yeah. we're still, even with tip and everything, we're still under $100. Yeah. So I think that's a pretty strong showing. I think that's a seven. Yeah, I would agree with you on a seven because if you look at the, the entire package, right? Like, I, you're, you're definitely paying for the vibes at, at this place. The, his burger was really good. And for what you're getting, you can't really beat, you can't really beat it. So, yeah, seven. All right, guys. So there, those are our professional opinion scores. They're up on the screen now. All right, guys. And there you have it. Uh, the Sci-Fi Drive-In Theater and Restaurant scored 67 points to tie it with the Edison for sixth place on our professional opinion scores. So uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you agree, disagree, think we're crazy, or think that we should have scored it vastly different. Let us know. And that's where uh, Sci-Fi ranks in with the, rest of the uh, restaurants here at Disney. So let us know in the comments below, do you agree with our opinion? Do you not agree? Is there something we missed? Is there another restaurant that you'd like us to check out? Put it in the comments below, maybe we will. Yeah. Also, don't forget to check out our other channels if you're into like jet skiing or if you're into DIY, we're moving that type of content over to Weekenders on the Water and Weekender DIY. Really appreciate it if you go check those channels out as well. Yes, please. Really help us out. Yeah. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. It's easy because we both like them. Yeah. Sci-fi, dining, dining, drive, driving. Dining. Christine's talking about how they, uh -huh. yeah. okay. The, Right. Wait. Yeah, now. Okay. Oh, oh my bright. goodness. Oh my goodness. Part of the video where we're going to give you. Don't uh, on the hill, please. Yeah. Okay. It's like green boobies.